Hi YouTube, this is Tiffany with homesofdaytonabeach.com. Today we're going to be taking a ride through the subdivision of Town Park, located just off of Williamson Boulevard in Port Orange, Florida. Town Park is known for its beautiful entryway and stunning clock tower, which is the main focal point of the entryway as you come into the neighborhood of Town Park. As we arrive into the neighborhood, you'll be able to tell that it is a very well-established neighborhood with a lot of mature trees that line the streets. There's plentiful sidewalks throughout the entire neighborhood, so riding your bike, jogging, or taking a walk is really easy and safe here. Town Park also has a very low annual HOA, which makes living in this neighborhood even that more affordable. The architecture is kind of a mixture between Mediterranean and modern, and some of the homes have what they call a port cocher, which is really just a fun way of saying carport. Town Park really is a great neighborhood for all types of families. They have smaller homes available all the way up to homes that have just over 3,000 square feet. But if you are a family that has children, Rest assured that you're going to be in an area that's zoned for some of Volusia County's top rated schools, including Horizons Elementary, Silver Sands Middle School, and Atlantic High School. Town Park is a really centrally located neighborhood in retrospect to Port Orange and other surrounding cities such as New Smyrna Beach or Daytona Beach. You're gonna be about 15 minutes away from pretty much anything that you'd like to do in the city of Port Orange. If you like to go to the beach, that beach ride is going to only be about 15 minutes away and you can drive on some portions of the beach uh, over the bridge on Dunlawton. If you prefer to do boating, Port Orange does have a couple of boat ramps located under the Dunlawton Bridge. There's some for smaller boats and then some for larger boats. If you like to jet ski, there's also a third, much smaller boat ramp that you can use if you wish. Paddle boarding, kayaking are really popular in this area as well. And if you don't own a paddle board or a kayak, there are several different places in the city where you can rent them and take them out on the water. If you like to travel, you're also going to have really access to both I-4 and I-95 making it really easy to get to Orlando, to Miami, to Jacksonville, or wherever you'd like to go in the, in the state. And like I talked about earlier, Town Park is really close to Daytona Beach and all of the things that it has to offer as a city, but Port Orange actually also has a lot of different activities and things to do right here in Port Orange. So Town Park is so close to the city center there you're gonna find the library. There are a lot of different events throughout the year, such as Port Orange Family Days. They do the 4th of July celebration there. They always have a lot of fun things for kids to do, bounce houses, food trucks. Sometimes they have beer gardens for the adults. So it's a really fun place to visit. They also have a YMCA out there and a lot of children's sports teams play at the city center as well on the ball fields. Town Park is also just down the road from the Port Orange Pavilion. Here you're going to find a really nice open air shopping area. There's a lot of different shopping stores, including a Belk, a Michaels, a Home Goods, just to name a few. And there's a lot of restaurants out here as well, such as an Olive Garden, a Texas Roadhouse, my favorite, the Malibu Grill, a Red Robin, and they have a Chuck E. Cheese for the kids. There's also a movie theater out here, and on Saturdays, the Pavilion does host a farmer's market, which is a really cool event. You can buy things from local vendors, and Perrines, who is a locally run grocery store, does a produce stand out there if you're looking for fresh produce that's locally grown and harvested in Florida. If you're looking for some other fun things to do while you're out and about in Port Orange, you should definitely check out Sugar Mill Gardens. It's about a five to seven minute drive from Town Park and is located just off of Old Sugar Mill Road, which is right off of Herbert. Uh, Sugar Mill Gardens is a free park that you can go to seven days a week and it's run strictly by volunteers. 
It really is a beautiful place. They do weddings there, you can do photography. And while you're there, make sure to check out all of the dinosaur statues that are there. I believe they're from the 50s and it's a really cool thing to see. If golf is your thing, then Crane Lakes is located just off of Taylor Road, not far from Town Park, and they offer a really nice golf course there as well. Um, if you want a larger golf course, then LPGA is about a 15 minute drive and they feature 36 holes of world-class golf. It's just a short ride from Town Park, so it's definitely worth your while. If you need access to an airport, Port Orange is also within close proximity of three different airports in the area, including Daytona International Airport, Sanford Orlando International Airport, and Orlando International Airport. So picking up friends and family while they come to visit you will be super easy here. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of Town Park, located in Port Orange, Florida. We're glad that you decided to take a ride with us. If you have any questions about any of the homes in Town Park or surrounding areas, or any other questions regarding real estate or just fun things to do while you're visiting the area, please feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us on the web at www.homesofdaytonabeach.com. Hope to see you soon.